Hi there and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga. And today we're going to focus on the belly, the hip flexors, menstrual cramps, and easing some of the discomfort from those menstrual cramps. I hope that this helps. Um, my best intentions are here for you to feel better. So ease, gentle, kindness. Okay, so easing into the poses, be gentle, be kind as you come in, use your bolsters, use your blocks, use your straps as you wish. Um, again, this is about creating space. This is about um, creating some comfort, giving you some relief. So intensity out the window. All right, a seated position that feels good to you. And let's just give those shoulders a good roll up and back. And let your shoulders just gently slide down and away. As you sit up tall, creating space in the belly. Big, full, deep breaths. Those exhales calming, quieting. Close your eyes. We're going to do a couple different variations of cat and cow. Our first one is seated, bringing the hands to the shins just below the knees. Take a big breath in and press your chest forward. Lift your gaze, arch your back. And then as you exhale, press your spine back, tuck your chin to cat. And we're just going to transition between those two poses, moving with your breath, big full inhales and exhales. Now, if anybody Anything is uncomfortable, causes an increase in that intensity. Back off a little bit. Just sit nice and tall. Just gently move. Coming back to center, bring your hands down by your sides. And we're just going to shift the rib cage from side to side. So just that lateral shift. Movement, increasing blood flow. Ah. Uh, releasing tension one more time and we come back to center let's come forward and up onto the hands and knees another cat and cow variation hands below us if you need to be up on fists you can be up on fists take a big breath in lower your belly down towards the ground lift your gaze as you exhale hollow your tummy and chest lift your spine tuck your chin so those cramps can go from the front to the back of the body. I hope that they're mild. The fact that you're here suggests that they're a little bit more than mild. So just moving gently. We transition from our cat to cow, cow to cat. Let's do one more each direction. Coming back to your neutral spine and then gently we slide those hips back towards your heels and walk those hands towards the top of the mat. Let your head be heavy. You are welcome to use a block or a bolster or you can stack your hands or fists. You're welcome to open up your knees a little bit. Sometimes that pressure against the tops of the thighs can feel pretty good for your tummy. If it doesn't feel great and you'd prefer that space, yep, just open up your knees as much or as little as you like. This is your practice, my friend, to take care of your body, your mind, your heart the best way you can. So tailor it to your body today. We take big, full, deep breaths in and out. Working through a very gentle practice today. Let's just take a couple more breaths here. And let's extend those arms out nice and long, hands shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide. We're going to inhale up to a modified high plank. And then slowly lower your hips down. As you open the chest and open the tummy, roll those shoulders back and lift your gaze, stretching through the belly. 
core strong, slowly come back to that neutral spine. And again, press it back to child's pose. Let's do that again. Take this at your own pace, inhaling it up to that modified plank. And exhale, slowly lower your hips down, lifting your gaze up, shoulders back, chest open. Stretch in the hip flexors, the tummy, core strong, back to that neutral spine, and press it back to child's pose. We're going to do that one more time. If you prefer, yep, you can stay in child's pose. We inhale it up to that modified plank. And as you exhale, lowering those hips, lifting the chest, drawing those shoulders back and away. Back to that neutral spine and press it back to child's pose. Great series of stretches. If ever you just have an upset tummy, not just for menstrual cramps. So anytime you're kind of feeling nauseous, uh, acid reflux, anything like that can help that. Find your breath. And then let's slowly walk those hands up. Come over onto a hip. Sweep your feet around. And let's slide down towards the top of the mat. Extending the legs out nice and long. You're welcome to put a bolster or a blanket or a pillow on your thighs. You're welcome to put one underneath your knees. So if you have super tight hamstrings, lifting those knees and supporting them is perfect. If you would prefer, yep. Yeah. You can bend those knees, bring your feet nice and wide, and lean forward. Otherwise, legs are long. We reach to the sky. And as you exhale, gently hinge it forward. Release your hands and walk them out. Coming forward to your forward fold. Let your arms be heavy. Let your head be heavy. So if we have that bolster, or blanket, or pillow underneath our chest and tummy, just supporting us, you can make it as big as you want to, or as thin as you want to, and let gravity just gently work you down towards those legs. Again, if you have chosen to have those knees bent and the feet wide, same thing. Arms are reaching out. Head's heavy. That forward fold, just collapsing in on that tummy a little bit. Little massage. So we kind of go from stretching to closing of the abdominal wall and the organs within it. In your torso, just feeling space. Stretching through that lower back. Like I said, sometimes you can feel those cramps all the way into the lower back. Mm. I know that one all too well. And then just slowly walk your hands back up. Let's extend those legs back out if they're not already. Sitting up nice and tall. Hands down by your sides. We sit in staff pose, making yourself just as tall as you can. Close your eyes and breathe. It's a pretty active pose, so it's not just kind of hanging and collapsing down, right? We want to sit up nice and tall. Space in the rib cage, length in that spine, length down the backs of the legs. Again, you can have those knees bent, supported with a bolster if you like. Breathe. Now soften your feet and in fact point those toes. We're going to bring our hands behind us. Fingertips are going to point towards your bottom and we're going to lower down onto your forearms and your elbows. Lifting the chest mm, just as much as you can and then slowly lower your head back. So this is one variation of fish pose. If you wish, you can slide those hands underneath your bum, palm side up. Again, supporting on the forearms and the elbows and allowing you to come a little deeper into this pose. Lifting the chest, crown of the head towards the ground. 
So whichever variation is better for you, palms against the earth or palms against your bum. And breathe. Fish pose, wonderful for opening up through the belly. Great for opening up your sinuses as well. And gently lift. And we're going to lower all the way down. So releasing your hands however you need to. Extending those arms out however you need to. Rolling to one side to release each hand. So just safely coming down onto your back. We draw the right knee in towards the chest. Hands to the shin just below your knee. Pulling it in. If you need to bend that left knee, bend that left knee. If you could keep that left leg long, just a little nice stretch all the way through the front of that left leg, through those hip flexors. Right arm extends out to a T, and then gently pull your leg across your body. Now we can take as much twist as we like. You can also put a bolster or a pillow underneath that right knee for support, or use gravity to gently pull you a little deeper into your twist. Listen to your body. Turn and take your gaze out over your right arm. And just breathe. That left leg is just doing whatever it likes. Here's supine spinal twist. Now gently release that left hand and pull that left knee in. We roll to our left side and just let your right hand rest wherever it's comfortable. Breathe. Now I have my left hand still resting on that right knee. It's comfortable for me, but if there's another position that's good for your hand, come there. Just an easy side-lying position. Chest slightly turned open towards the ceiling. Just kind of laying on the back of that left shoulder a bit. But again, find what feels good to you. So you don't have to be right on that left shoulder. And then slowly we roll it towards our back. Right knee comes in. And then our left. Hands to the shins just below your knees. Make whatever adjustments you need to make. Pulling those knees in nice and tight. And a gentle rock side to side. We come back to center, placing that right foot to the mat, hands to that left shin just below your knee and pull it in. Now we can keep that right knee bent or yep, you're welcome to extend that right, le right leg out. Close your eyes and breathe. With a consistent yoga practice, my friend, we can really help the body alleviate discomfort and pain. Always working towards optimal health when we move mindfully and with kindness. Let's extend that left arm out and pull that left knee across the body. And turn and look out over that left arm. Oh my goodness, does that feel good? And breathe. Consistency, what does that mean? It doesn't mean you have to practice an hour or two hours every day. That means just being consistent, showing up and moving each and every day for just a little bit, moving mindfully and with purpose, being kind and honoring whatever's going on with the body today. So if you happen to have chronic issues or just acute, just kind of happens sometimes, yeah, step onto your mat. It's almost like magic. Releasing that right hand. And again, we're going to pull that right knee in. 
I'm going to leave that right hand at the top of the knee and I'm going to roll that left hand over and just allow it to rest. Turning my gaze to the right, but again remaining slightly on the back of that right shoulder. So I'm not just right on that shoulder. Closing the eyes and just breathing slow and steady. We take a few moments here to breathe and to let go. As you are ready, releasing that right hand and once again rolling back. We draw the knees in towards the chest, pulling it in nice and tight. Little wiggle of those hips side to side. And then coming back to center, slowly lifting the soles of the feet to the sky, opening up those knees, reaching up and taking a hold anywhere along the outside of your legs or the outside edge of your feet, and then gently pull those knees down, pressing the tailbone down towards the mat. Use the strength of the arms to draw those knees closer to the earth. Dead bug or happy baby. And then we're going to release that intensity with the arms, but keep a hold with those hands and just gently rock it side to side. Big, full, deep breaths. A little playful if you want to. You can open up those legs. You can keep one leg open and the other leg bent if you want. And switch. Just play with it. What feels good to you today? Maybe both legs are open. All good. Anything goes. This is just to feel good. Playful. Coming back to center. Draw those knees in. Mm. Bringing the hands behind the thighs, rocking yourself up or rolling to your side and using the strength of your arms to help you come back up. Let's come back up to a seated position. And we're going to take just a moment to transition your mat against the wall so that we can do legs up the wall to finish. So my mat is perpendicular to the wall so that I can lay down with my head away from the wall. We're going to bring our bum as close to the wall as we can. So how I like to get into this is scoot yourself way up next to that wall. And then you're going to lie down onto your side, head facing down towards the top of your mat. And get both cheeks right up against that wall. Extending that lower arm and give it a little roll up the wall. Now you might need to shimmy a little bit. If your hamstrings are really tight and you find your bottom kind of hovering above the floor, you can actually put a blanket or a pillow, depending upon how much lift you need, you can use a block. So whatever works for you. And just allow those legs to go up the wall. Arms can be anywhere, wherever you are comfortable with them. We close our eyes and we relax. We breathe, promoting blood circulation, oxygen circulation. Helping that lymphatic system be a little more efficient. If you have leg swelling, obviously, if you have cramps, or nausea, lower back pain. This is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place to be. If you have a little bit of insomnia and have a hard time going to sleep, turn out the lights, find a quiet place, come to your legs up the wall for as much time as you're willing to give. Focus on your breath in and out.
I encourage you to spend as much time here as possible, as much as feels right to you. I will leave you here, my friends. Breathing slow and steady. Finding comfort and calm.